Yeah, well, I, I always tell my fellow um, fitness athletes, okay, it's, it's, it's easy to tell someone, okay, you need to be in a calorie deficit to be able to lose weight or fat. But how to get into that calorie deficit matters a lot. Because me and you, you know that hunger always wins. So how can hunger someone... Hunger is dangerous. Create, how can someone create a calorie deficit without necessarily feeling extremely hungry, without feeling miserable because they are trying to... Yeah, this is, this is very important. I learned this from Radu Antonio, and I think you should, look, you should check that guy. He's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to... Radu, Radu said we have three things we, we must manage. Number one, we must manage hunger. Number two, we must manage cravings. Number three, we must uh, manage social events. Because if you're hungry, it doesn't matter. You're not, you're not going to lose fat. You can't because you'll be hungry and you'll find yourself eating more than you need. If you have cravings, you'll find yourself binge eating on your sweets and chocolates and your cakes. Um, social events are, okay, me, I'm not an outgoing person, so that does not apply to me. But for the other, it's person. You know, they have parties, they go to weddings. If you're going to restrict yourself, then you're going to have a very miserable life. Where your friends are having fun, you're not having fun. So this is how this is how I do it. And this is how Radu says you do it. And not just Radu, the other guys who are good at this thing. For you to enjoy your fat loss journey, you need to make sure that about 80 to 90 percent of your calories. You're there? Yeah, I'm there. Oh. About nine, 80 to 90 percent of your calories are coming from nutrients dense foods. You see what doctors call uh, healthy foods? Yes. Those ones. Those ones. Vegetables, um, lean meats, uh, legumes, uh, sweet potatoes. You know those ones? The, the foods that they call healthy foods. Those ones must take the biggest percentage of your of your diet why because they are satiating they fill you a lot when you eat them you don't feel hunger at all so they give you very few calories but they they fill you up and they also provide many macro many macronutrients that you need so this is secret number one make sure most of your foods are of, of those ones are uh, those ma micro macro i mean uh, those uh, nutrient dense foods i hope that that is making sense eh? yeah it does does make a lot of sense yes yes so and uh, i would advise that you prepare most of your foods do not be eating out there's nothing wrong with the eating out but most of your foods you prepare them by yourself so like in Uganda, I was in Uganda, so what were the most common foods there? Um, things like cassavas, uh, things like um, ban um, okay. matoke. Do you call them matokes? The bananas. Yeah. Bananas, yeah. Um, arrow roots, I saw them there. I saw sweet potatoes. I saw, what else did I see there? I saw fish, I saw meat. Those should be the main foods of your diet. This way, you will not feel hungry. They provide the most, they make you get full, they, they fill you up, but they don't give you many calories. That is number one. Since you're, Num you're not going to overeat them out. Yeah, even, even if you eat too much, yes, you, you've eaten too much, but the, the amount of calories are very small. Let me, let, let me give a call. Let me, yes? And you're never me, going to feel hungry faster so that you can overeat. You can't. You can't feel hunger. Let me give, let me give some context. Here in Kenya, we have something called ugali. You guys call it posho. Yeah, we call it posho. I like your diet because Ugandan diet is way better than Kenyan diet. Wow. And that's why you people have better physiques compared to us. I don't like how we look because our foods are not as good as yours. Ugali is not as great as people think it is. Or posho. It is heavily, it's heavily processed. It's heavily, heavily processed, but even maize, you cannot compare maize to things like sweet potatoes or bananas. For example, 100 grams of ugali 
contains about 300 calories. Do you know how many uh, do you know how many 100 grams of sweet potatoes? How many calories that contains? Maybe like about one seven. No, no, Maybe it's, it's even lower. It's even lower. When it's not cooked. Yeah, it's about 87, 87 calories. And it's very satiating. Yeah, so someone eats ugali, for them to, to feel satisfied, they need to eat about six, 600 grams. For you to eat sweet potatoes and feel satisfied, you might eat maybe around the same 600, 600 um, grams of sweet potatoes. But, but the, the amount calories. of calories you've consumed are three times lesser than those of ugali. So those dense foods, you know, those heavy foods, those should should uh, occupy 80 to 90 percent of your diet. That way, you never feel hunger. And this is what I did with my sister. I talked about hunger. Let's talk about the next one: cravings. Cravings. Good. We cannot we cannot avoid cravings. We we like sweets. We are human beings. You don't like sweets. I like sweet uh, chocolate, ice cream. So the remaining 10 to 20% of your calories can come from those ones now. The things you like. Those those little secrets you have, you know, those cravings, those ones. Why why is this important? When you consume 80 to 90 percent of your food from dense foods, you're going to get results. But for you to enjoy your life and not um, what do you call it? Um Side, is it called regress? For you not to regress to bad habits, make sure you consume those things you eat, but those things you like, but in small quantities, about 10 to 20 percent. They say the best way to avoid temptation is to do the thing that you feel, the thing that you think is going to destroy your life. It's like you're a doctor. You're a doctor. You guys do vaccines. You vaccine us. You 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 give us the same thing that is going. You know what I'm saying? Eh? Yeah, Tell know. us about vaccine. So vaccines basically are, we vaccinate you to give you immunity so that if you, you yes we, so we basically um, support your body that so that you ever get a disease that we are immunizing against your body is strong enough to fight it. But that you mean that vaccine vaccine is created from the same disease, right? Exactly. So we are giving you a live a live um organism or alive microorganism if, for example if it is measles we are giving you like measles uh virus but then we have some people live attenuated and non-attenuated so there are those um organs we are going we are giving you live so that your body can fight them and develop immunity so that if get you stronger in the future your body is strong enough to fight them away the same thing those bad food you are those bad foods are not bad foods they are only bad if 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 they dominate your diet but if you if you put them into your diet with a plan then you never you never experience cravings and this is how you do it so number 1 handle hunger number 2 handle cravings and this is going to become your lifestyle